Never shit a nigga dead for you. Yeah, you ain't really fuck with me way back then, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. What is up guys, welcome back here to a brand new NBA Live Mobile video. It's your boy JCN007 and I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day so far. So I am actually pre-recording this video. I think this video will be out this coming up Friday or on Friday by the time you guys are watching this. So anyway, we have a brand new NBA Live Mobile series here. But first, today is the last day to enter the Ray Allen Legend giveaway, guys. I'll close the actual giveaway time at 12 p.m. Eastern or 12 a.m. Eastern time, I guess you could say for on Friday so technically once it hits midnight I'm gonna close the giveaway and you guys will not be able to enter the Ray Allen giveaway so I'm giving away a Ray Allen all-star game legend 96 overall so definitely enter if you have not already thank you for those who are newly subbed to the channel I know there's gonna be some inactives which does definitely suck but I hope some of you guys that are new to the channel will get to enjoy my channel my content and stuff like that so today we got a new NBA Live mobile series it is gonna be called past versus present I don't think anyone has ever thought of this idea yet i just kind of thought of it over the weekend and really have kind of stuck through the back of my head and finally you know i decided to bring it out on paper make it happen on this game so right here as you can see we are on our big man lineup and you only see one elite and it's me circled around vince carter right here it's 2000 this is his all-star game legend card as well as you can see it is surrounded by toronto raptors teammates i guess you consider them so we got kyle lowry Bruno Cavicolo. Unfortunately, there's no DeMar DeRozan and big man lineup shooting guard, which does suck. There's also Jared Sullinger at power forward and Jonas Valanciunas at center. So this series should be called Pass versus Present because there's going to be a head-to-head. -head. There's going to be two players going head-to-head -head at each other. And it's going to be one from the past, one from the present. So they'll still be surrounded by the teammates from their same team. So Vince Carter will be considered the past player. And as you can see, as our present player, you guys might know who it is if you guys are serious Toronto Raptors fans like D Hitman. It is going to be Damare Carroll as your present player here. So, sure, you could say there's a little unfair advantage. Vince Carter has a better card. But you never know. The game performs very uniquely where, you know, these gold cards can perform literally just as good as these elite cards. So this is what we're going to be doing into the test here. We're going to be going into a head-to-head -head game, and you guys get to be involved in the series as well. You guys get to comment who you believe the winner is. Don't just say that the winner is because of, you know, Vince Carter because he's elite. Because you never know what Damari Carroll is about to do here. So yeah, you guys will be able to comment which player. You guys will comment like Carter, Carroll. And you guys can also comment the next pairing I should do. So like, it doesn't have to be a legend card all the time. It could be like, okay, maybe use 74 Paul Pierce and use Jalen Brown as an example for the Celtics or something like that. You guys get the rules and stuff. I'll explain it a little bit better as we go on with the series. So what we're going to do right now is go into a head-to-head -head game. And this head-to-head -head game will be the first test for Vince Carter. So what we're going to be doing is try to get at least two dunks, two mid-range shots, see how Vince Carter does with defense in terms of like blocking, stealing, if his points or how many points does he allow to his teammates, and as well as three-point shots are very crucial as well. So it looks like we do have some uh, games here, but I'm going to start some new ones here. Let's go against some even lineups here. I want to make sure we go against one that has the same overall. So let's go with the 88 overall team. We'll go against the Pacers here. We're going to be utilizing our big man lineup. So right there is our Toronto-themed lineup with that Vince Carter showcasing the Vince. And yeah, we'll go against head-to-head. -head. This is pretty much past-present. You guys get to vote which one you guys believe is the best one or best performing one. Valentinus misses the tip-off right there. I'm pretty bad at tip-off, so... Uh, I do apologize for those tip-offs. Oh, dang, George Hill. Dude, George Hill getting shifty right there for the Pacers. He's now in the Utah Jazz. So we got to feed it to Vince Carter every single time, which uh, I hope it's not going to really affect the game. Okay, I thought that was Vince Carter for a second. I have no clue why. He's got the arm sleeve. You always got to know. Vince Carter's got the arm sleeve. So I think let's test out the three-point shot right here. Is he going to drain that? He's going to drain that. So he's one for one on three-point. We're going to try to get at least two shots of each. I don't know how far we'll be able to get. Um, we're targeting six shots with Vince Carter in total. So um, two attempts per each. So right there. Oh, that's good defense presence right there. I like that from Vince. He was able to stop that one right there. So maybe let's go for another triple. Let him get a little bit wide open. Right there is good. 10%. And he misses that one. So he's one for two on three-point shots. To me, that was pretty wide open. I think that was under a very highly contested shot. Oh, Kyle Lowry with the steal. That is nice. Helping out his teammates right there. Now let's see Vince Carter. No, no, no. Oh, geez, he was about to charge right there. I saw him there. 
Nope, dude, Vince Car- Oh, that's Sullinger? Oh, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. I have no clue what I was thinking. Vince Carter right here. Let's see his mid-range pull-up game right here from the free throw line. That is nice and good right there. So he's one for one on the mid-range shot. Don't Not sure how many uh, dunks we'll be able to get in, but uh, if we whatever pretty much Vince Carter gets, we'll pretty much place the standards on uh, Damari Carroll here. So right there, Vince Carter stepping in. The defense has been real good for Vince Carter. I'm really liking his defensive presence, and okay, that was just absolutely terrible. I wanted to get the ball back, and Jared Sullinger throws the ball away. Okay, right there, Al Horford. Is that okay? That was the Bruno dude, so that's why he let the points in. So Vince Carter, let's see. Can we get a dunk in? That would be nice if we get Vince Carter with a dunk. Okay, he gets a layup. You know, I guess we can consider that a dunk. You know, gets inside the post. Well, maybe he changes the dunking into like in the paint, like points in the paint. Oh. Defensive presence again by Vince Carter. Let's see the mid-range game right here. Mid-range. The mid-range game is strong. So two for two on mid-range. One for two on three-point. And he's one for one in the paint. So, And he's done really good defensively as well. So I might have them posted here on the side, on the screen as we go, so you guys know what's up and stuff like that. So pretty solid performance right there by Vince Carter. Now it's time to go back to the team. Go back to my big man lineup, and we got to add in Damari Carroll, and he's now going to go into his head-to-head game, and let's see how he fares uh, with Vince Carter. So, sure, I know you guys will probably, someone will mention in the comments, like, oh, he's got worse stats, but honestly, you never know how these guys play. They, sometimes they could be off in the game, sometimes they're fire, so we're going to go ahead, use the big man lineup. This is very similar to their actual lineup. Obviously, there's Ibaka as well as... I looked for Ibaka. He doesn't have a big man one for some reason. I looked for Ibaka, and there's no DeRozan. But uh, this should be pretty exciting here. So let's see if Valanciunas can win the tip-off. Okay, maybe it's fair that uh, both of the teams did not start with the tip-off. Okay, Damari Carroll lets Clarkson go by. And Clarkson's not even a man. his man, so uh, that doesn't really count here. And right there, dude, Damari Carroll gets... Uh, a offense he doesn't get offensive foul but he causes an offensive foul so i guess that counts that counts as like a defensive uh tactic right there so let's see damari carroll for three point right there that is a swish so he is one for one on three point as well and that is nice so obviously you guys can rule it doesn't matter because in the game you could say oh maybe like vince carter ends up doing better in terms of stat wise he made higher percentage shots but it's who you guys believed felt like did an overall better performance in his stance. So green right there. And Carroll gets the rebound, so that's uh, maybe more added points for why you should uh, choose Damari Carroll. Damari Carroll for three-point shot, and he misses that one. Okay, but we can get it back to Damari Carroll. So that's one for two uh, for Damari Carroll. He's actually the same as Vince Carter. Let's look for Damari Carroll again. Pass to Cylinder, pass to Carroll. Carroll with the pump fake. Gets him on the pump fake. Mid-range game. He misses his mid-range jumper. Okay, he got the pump fake, but it looks like the defender was able to catch up in time. And Carroll with the steal. Carroll with the steal. And he attacks the rim. He gets himself in the paint bucket. So he's one for one in the paint. So I guess all he now needs to do is pretty much get at least one more mid-range. And hopefully he's able to drain that because we only got five shots off with last time with Vince Carter. Kyle Larry with the steal. Unable to corral that one. Carroll stepping up. He wants to double team Clarkson right here, and it looks like it just blows by him. I guess that's not really his fault, but I guess Kyle Lowry kind of laid off because he saw Carroll was going to go ahead and do it. So Carroll, pump fake, no good, does not, and Carroll loses the ball. Okay, that is going to be some minus points right there for Carroll. That is uh, not a good thing. He's trying to swipe that from uh, Clarkson, unable to swipe that. He's able to get another rebound. Looks like Carroll's rebounding... Uh, Presence is very strong here. He's gonna do some shifty moves, maybe get some a little get his man moving a little bit, get an open jumper. He gets his mid range jumper, which is nice. So he finishes off one for one in the paint, one for two mid range, and was he one for two on three point also? So does finish a little bit worse than the Vince Carter, but honestly, his rebounding presence was pretty darn good. A little mishaps on terms of you know actually going at it and stuff like that but uh i think it seemed pretty even to be honest it seemed pretty even to me he did really good in terms of stealing got some nice stuff right there 
So now it's up to you guys in the comments down below. And as you see, there's my profile picture right there. So it's up to you in the comments down below to see who won the battle. Was it Vince Carter or Damari Carroll? So comment down either Carroll or Vince Carter down below in the comments. And I'll go through every single comment. I'll respond to yours and, you know, put a smiley face or something. So I, I do appreciate your guys' comments. So, yeah. If you guys comment that, and if you guys have any other suggestions on who should go head-to-head -head battle next game in the next series, episode of this series, that'd be very appreciative. Again, thank you guys for watching. You guys can drop a like and subscribe if you're here to the channel. That'd be very appreciative, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace.